Hi, hello, welcome to Colorful Diary. Whenever you see my coloring journal here on the table, I believe you know what we are filming, our favorite um, video of the month. And these are finished pages. This time I'm filming finished pages for October. Um, let me just see if in September there were any pages. Oh yeah, then yeah. For um, we are filming finished pages for October, and uh, we want um, be long. I mean, I don't want to be really long. So let's just start with the um, finished pages. I will put this out and have will have open here beside me, so. I can see which mediums did I used on each page. Let's start with the bigger page that I have, and it's a Halloween -y page, and I just uh -huh. um, a Halloween page that took me around two weeks and it was really, really a lot to color. I don't know if you can see everything. No, you can't see. I need to zoom you out a little bit. Here, now you can see. So, this is my finished double page spread and I'm so happy. You can't imagine how happy I am that I finished um, this page that I was looking for, I think, a few years. I wanted it finished and just didn't have the um, idea or anything. And this year I finished it just for one reason i saw one girl that uh, was coloring this page and i just saw the sky it was something similar to that not particularly like this but something like that even darker and she used pen pastels i guess i'm not sure the everything that i knew i knew for uh this kind of sky i knew i wanted dark buildings and there was a one page when where i saw um yellow windows because of the lights and then here um again something yellow again because of the lights and this was everything and then i just um added some here some color here some here i just said one house today next day this house and so on and this is it my finished page in erie i think this is the most second most um busy page there is another one on the market which is waiting for me still that has a lot more to color so it's this one and this one will be now i don't know when <sighs> probably in spring or summer but yeah it won't be finished in one month i already know that so yeah um this is my happy page from <laughs> this book um here i used Mungyo soft pastels for the sky and for the ground. Prisma colors, of course. Prisma colors are my main pencils. Um, some gel pens on these bottles. Here I used some um, wa uh, water based marker with glitters in it. Um, Sakura glaze black pen. 
Signo Silver. What else? Some Signo White. Some gold here and here. And yeah, that's basically it. This is everything that I used on this page. Pretty simple, but I mean, pretty simple um, mediums. But yeah. Yeah, this is the final result. And you can see here all the glitter on the bottles, in the bottles. Yeah. So, yeah, this is our first page for this month, and I'm counting this as a two pages. Next, we have this one. I already colored one page. If it will be possible, I will color um, another page in next month, so in November. And this is my finished page. Here I used alcohol markers, as I'm using them here regularly. Um, some watercolors for the background and for the grass. Sakura black glaze for the eyes. Um, black Posca. Just don't know for what. Oh no, I, I was watching the, not the right row. Um, here I use alcohol markers, some Teddy cheap watercolors, um, Prisma colors on top of everything, and Sakura black glaze. That's everything that I used on this page. And it came out really beautiful. I have three marked, but we'll see. But yeah, this is uh, my page from. My Tiny Forest by Dina Steiner. This is the first edition, so it's, it doesn't have the title, My Tiny Forest. Now it has a title, so yeah. Next we have Boil de Pois, if I said it correctly. <laughs> um, which are here. And this month we were coloring this page, a little bit Halloween y. Um, and here I used Koinor watercolors for the cat, for the background. And here, I think, just for the background and for the cat. Um, Prisma colors, of course, on top, or just Prisma colors. Sakura glaze black for the bats and here on the stars. Sakura glitter, glitter gel pens for here, for here, and Signo gold for the stars and the moon. And that's basically, oh, Signo silver on the Here, if you can see it. Oh, and signal gold on the stars, some Posca yellow on the on the candles here. And yeah. This is a body color with Lovela. I will show you her page here and then um, the rest of the pages from other people that, I mean, other colorists that joined in this um, color along. And with one girl, I have, um, we chose pretty uh, same colors 
um, and I I finished this page in the start of the October, and I waited for Lovella. And when I saw her page, I was just, I mean, how did you use the same colors like me for the background, for the cat, and for the candles, I think. It was just, <laughs> I'm, you will see this. Um, so, yeah, this is my, my entry for our color along. And I can show you what we will color in November if you didn't saw it already on my Instagram. Um, it's this one with the mushrooms. And how um, appropriate. <laughs> I am hosting another color along this month, this month, and it's um, lightning and colorful mushrooms, something like that. When you can make your mushrooms like they are glowing or just make it colorful in any other color, not just in red or brown. So yeah, colorful mushrooms will be for this month. Put this tag back. Yeah, this is the page for November. We are going through this book slowly but surely. Um, next year, I'm already thinking if I will be hosting this color along. Um, but there is one thing for sure. I need to change the name of the hashtag because now it's too long. Um, I will put you my color along name here, hashtag. So if anyone has any idea how to make um, um, shorter version of the uh, color along and inclu can include name of me and Lovella, I will be grateful. For now, I'm thinking I have some ideas, but we'll see. But that is the first thing that I will need to do. Um, choose. Um, new name of the hashtag. So yeah, this was Bowl de Poix by Diane Defour. Next we have Magical Dawn by Hannah Carlson. Um, I didn't color in this book for a long time and now finally I did. And I did make it in some pastel colors. Can you imagine I um succeed maybe you remember from i think it was from september yeah for september i tried to do to make a page in lulu mayor tarot coloring book um pastelli colors and i didn't make it but this month i think i make it i made it just some light colors, light skin, light hair. This is the only part that is a little bit darker, but yeah, I think I made it. So here I used some watercolors from Teddy, some cheap version, but they're working really good as you can see for her, for here and for her hair and well, for her skin as well, and for this glow. Um, then I use Sakura glitter gel pens on her rings. Signo gold for on her rings as well, and for the stars. Sakura black glaze for her nails and for those stars on her face mm, and then sakura jelly roll gold and black for i don't know what is this crown and this like rings or i don't know um anything else and signo white gel pen for the smoke or something around her but yeah i'm happy that i have um Pastelli uh, version of the page. 
I did it. <coughs> and yeah, this is my page from. I don't know if this is a witch or what is she, but I think it was appropriate for October. Yeah, this is my page from Magical Dawn by Hannah Carlson. Next, we have Favorite Stories Special. I almost. Um, gave this book back on shelf because i didn't know how to color the page or which page would i like to choose um but in the end i did this one cinderella um and here i used as you can see alcohol markers um prisma colors on top of course um for the shiny parts you can see how shiny it is. Oops. Maybe you can. I just uh -huh. Shiny parts. I used Cygnus Silver. I added Cygnus, no Cygnus, Sakura Black Place on her eyes. Um, Cygnus Gold on her here. What is this called? And signal for the stars, for the ring, again for the stars. On her lips is a glaze pen as well. Some white on the shoe. Yeah, pretty much all the shiny parts are just those decorations in the in the circle. Um, yeah. And I left the background white. I think it's nice. I I just can't imagine the page now with I don't know with black background or with dark blue or anything. I just see it just like I have it now. So yeah. This is my Cinderella by Fairy Story Special by Coloring Heaven and designed by Fabiana Atanasio. This was my first color page in this book. And we have Teacup Kittens by Kayomi Harai. I adore this book. Um, and it's so easy to color, but for oh god i'm not good at it so i'm ma i'm making as good as i can um but still it it never turned out just like i was imagining so yeah i did this page again i used um alcohol markers um, black Posca for the background, Prisma colors on top of the alcohol markers, um, some Sakura um, glitter gel pens, and that's it. That's everything that it's used on this page. Um, the apple is just, I don't know. <laughs> I, if I am looking a long time on, on for the apple, I'm getting like dizzy or it's just, I don't know. I wanted to make it like in different colors, like uh, yellow, green and red, but <laughs> this is what it came out. So I can't help. Um, but yeah, this is the finished page. And here I used some gold signal. Didn't saw it. But yeah, this is my my cute little kitty and she is looking almost like my kitty. And whenever I'm coloring some 
cats or any animals. I'm just looking at her just to see how the fur um, is. So just it makes me a little bit easier to color, but still, I don't know when I will learn color how to color fur. So yeah. But there is a plenty of beautiful pages. Look at them. It's just the cat because it's so real. Yeah. Um, I have one. This one was last year. But this is just alcohol markers and I didn't touch the, the kitty. So yeah. This is everything, I guess. In the oh no, is this one too? Here I was trying to make fur, but <laughs> didn't succeed. So yeah, this is my kitty fur this year. And the last one for this month was in Gnome Sweet Gnome by Teresa Goodrich. It's this one, I think. Yeah, it's this one. And here I used alcohol markers, as you can see, and Prisma colors on top. There is a little bit of signal gold, signal white. Um, but yeah, anything else is, everything else is in Prisma colors. Here I was playing a little bit with alcohol markers for his bird and for her hair. And here I tried to blend, but it wasn't working. Oh, and here we have Signo Silver. And some Posca. Threaded, oh, Posca for the border here. And this should be it. This is everything with Posca. But yeah, can you see the apples? I wanted to make it the same on the kitten page. And I just didn't make it, so. But I wanted this kind of apple, but what can we do? Um, so yeah, this is my last page. For this month, um, hope you liked all the pages. I will put all the books here around. Yeah, I hope you liked all the pages. Maybe you can tell me which one is your favorite for this month. Mine for sure is the one in Boyle de Poix. Um, in Romantic Country, Fairy Stories Special. I mean, all of them for this month are beautiful. Just in Magical Dawn and Teacup Kittens, those two are just like so so, but yeah. Otherwise, all the other pages I really like. And I just did a great job for this month um tell me which one is your favorite page and i will see you in the next video bye